What's going on, y'all? I appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that now. And like this video while you're at it, because it's going to be a good one. What's good, y'all? I hope y'all are having a fantastic day today, because you already know your boy Kari is having a fantastic day. So today we got a reaction video for y'all, man. I told y'all I'm back on my grind. And we got on. And Ocho Cinco, if y'all don't know who Unk is, that's Shannon Sharp, Ocho, Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson. They debate if the Chiefs can go on the 3P. So, we about to get in in that. Let's get it. Hey, y'all, it's your favorite Unk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel. So you never miss a single live stream or video from myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. No problem, Unk. I'll hit that shit. Ocho, what you think? Mm -hmm. Kansas City comes back. Yes, sir. They three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we, before they, before we let them talk, what y'all think? Y'all think, y'all think they can three peat? I ain't gonna lie, man. I don't really watch football too much, man. But before the game even went on, I knew the Chiefs was gonna win, bro. Pat Mahomes is the guy. He's the guy of this era, bro. There was Tom Brady. Now there's Pat Mahomes. Just like there was fucking. Michael Jordan, then there was Kobe, and now there's LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, uh, LeBron and Kobe played in the same era, but it kind of still, you know what I'm saying? There's always going to be the guy that's going to run the NBA. You know what I'm saying? So, what y'all think? Put it down below in the comments. Mm. Mahomes is the MVP. Mm. Mm. We, might have to, we might have to really call that GOAT thing into discussion. Right. Right, because it'll be the first time in the history of the game that somebody is three-peating. Right. Mm. And we understand how hard it is to repeat. repeat That's why yeah. you only hand on three. Repeat. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I, that's, some that's some new information to me. I ha See, in, in the NBA, I guess it's a lot easier to three-peat because I know Michael Jordan did that. Well, actually, didn't, uh, didn't the Warriors do that? I guess, I guess not really. I guess I know Michael Jordan did it twice so i guess it's a hard thing in all sports to do but i never knew that nobody in the history of the nfl has three p's so that's some you information think they, they have an opportunity well if they're going to repeat which they got to bring cj back they got to get cj they got to get CP. with darius knee they got to get guys like that yeah but listen they're not repeating unless you have those two centerpieces on defense because yeah. if you think about it people in the chat if you think about it the regular season for the kansas city I buy the same products. Come you on, do. ad already, bro. Oh, I, I just watched the ad. I save hundreds of dollars a month by doing this one simple. Chief, it wasn't about Patrick Mahomes. It was about Spagnolia and that goddamn defense. Spags. And yeah. the way they and the way they played they throughout the entirety of the season. And yeah. obviously, you play, you play, you play, you play great defense, you play great defense, and you leave it in Mahomes' hands when it's time to win the ball, trying to win the game, and he's gonna come through for you every time because he's someone that you can put everything, the onus and winning the game on him when it matters most. Oh, Joe, that muff punt. Uh, it hit the game. Well, you know, you know what? It flipped the game. It, it, hit, it, hit, it, it, hit, it hit the, the foot. blocker's it, foot. It hit yeah, the blocker's, blocker's foot. foot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, Oh, Joe. I, I mean, think Burbank, Burbank should have fell on it. He should have fell on it instead that's of trying right. to pick it up. Thank you, Oh, Joe. That's the rule. Right. He was, he was trying to make a play. No, Oh, Joe. In that situation, you don't play hero ball. Now, that's a look. You try to tell yourself. Look, man, hero ball is always going to be, it's always going to be the 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 difference between you winning the game or losing the game, bro. <clears throat> hero ball, bro. And I play, I hoop at LA Fitness a lot. I Like, I play basketball, just so y'all know. I hoop at LA Fitness. I grew up playing basketball, travel basketball. Hero basketball is always what's going to determine whether you're going to win the game or lose the game. Some people... Are superheroes. I can't admit that. Steph Curry, he's a superhero. You will, he will, he he can play, he can play hero ball and save the day. And even though LeBron is a very great basketball player, he's probably one of the best to ever play basketball. Not probably, he is. He cannot. I, most of the time, he he's not a hero baller. So, hero ball will lose you the game for real. Hey man, just especially if you're not a hero baller. baller. It's just like all the rest of them. The field right. is the same difference. Mm -hmm. The points count the same. A touchdown is six. Mm -hmm. A safety is two. A field goal is three. Mm -hmm. A PAT, if you kick it, is one. You right. go for it and get it, is two. But you can't trick your mind. Right. Your mind know what the magnitude of this game is. Mm -hmm. So you tell yourself all you want to is just the game. But yeah. you know, right. you understand, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. The moment driving to the stadium, 
people are waving. They got the banners. They got your banners. They got the other team's banners mm -hmm. on the way to the stadium. Yeah. You could come out on that field, Ocho. You know how it was. Think about all the all the people that was already in the stands. Yeah. Think about all the people that were on the field. Mm -hmm. So you look like, hold on, this this ish ain't regular. Mm-hmm. And when the, when was the last time you had a regular season game that you was there from somewhere from Sunday to Monday? Mm -hmm. You ever had a regular season game? You were somewhere from Sunday to Monday. No, so sir. your body know. Hold on, I ain't used to sleeping in there bed so yeah. far in bed like this. It's, this it's, di it's different. It's different. I ain't used to have used to having all meetings every day in a hotel mm -hmm. room. Right. And then we have a big meeting in a conference room. Mm -hmm. That ain't normal. Right. But that, and sometimes that's what it takes. It takes, and the momentum swung. Big time. At that point in time. And you just like, okay. They tried to get it back, but that block PAT. That block PAT is ooh. That was that was that was huge, Ocho. Listen, that you know was that, huge. that that 57 yard field goal was huge as well. Oh, he uh, buck got laid straight, straight down yeah. the line. Straight mm -hmm. down the line. And the Chiefs were down by remember. They were down by 10 the first time they played the uh, 49ers. Mm -hmm. They were down by 10 against mm -hmm. the uh the Eagles. Mm -hmm. They've been that they were down ten tonight. Yeah. What else does Mahomes have to? Do? What does he have? What else he have to do, Ojo? I don't know. Matter of fact, I think if I'm not mistaken, in all the playoff games, playoff games, maybe not Super Bowl, he been down double digits in all of them. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, he came back and won. He well, he was down double digits. He was down twenty four nothing against the Texans. Mm -hmm. He was down ten nothing against the Tennessee Titans. Mm -hmm. We know we just mentioned he was down three. So he's been down double digits, mm -hmm. probably six. But you look at his record. Trailing in the second mm -hmm. half of a yeah. playoff game. The dude's eight and two. Hey, yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. He's good. He's good. He's good. And, and I think also we I I, I want to give credit to Andy Reid as well with the play calling. I want to give credit to Andy Reid as well with the play calling and really not putting Mahomes and the ball in harm's way, even though you're trailing. Because you know when you're trailing, you just start calling anything instead of just playing your game. That's where the term game manager, manager comes you in. You see, Patrick Mahomes understands, yeah. I can't take the risk no. that I normally could. Right, right. When you're down, you have to be a game manager when you're down. Because all of the all your decision makings have to be right. Amplified. You pay double for you pay double for turnovers, Ojo. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You pay double yeah. for those. And so mm -hmm. now, as opposed to being swashbuckling, he has to be conservative. Okay, that four yard route, it's only four yards. Man, come on, man, push the ball down the field. No, that throw isn't there. Right. This is the throw that's there. Mm -hmm. And and you know the thing is like, ah oh, man, you know, and I'm sure Coach, uh, uh, Steve Wilkes is saying he's going to get antsy. Mm -hmm. We're just going to make him keep checking it down. Right. Making him keep checking it down. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to get greedy. Yeah. And when he does, we're going to be there. Right. But he's learned, and Andy's done a great job of this. Mm -hmm. Son, take what they give you. And don't be afraid to take off. From the time that he won that first Super Bowl when they were down against the Texans mm -hmm. and he started using his legs, legs he's yeah. never quarterback. Mm -hmm. He's never quarterback. Yeah. He doesn't run. If, he's never going to be Justin Fields or Lamar, Mike Vick. Mm -hmm. He's never going to be that. Right. But he runs, at, and, and sometimes it hurts more when he runs because you're not expecting it. Expecting it, yeah. And he had, he had a run tonight when he went up the gut. When he went to that was third, that was third down. When that third and down, and then he pointed on Joe. You see him point? Yeah, yeah, I block yeah. him. I'm, I'm getting hit. I would hit the head on the goal post. You block him. <laughs> oh man, dog! Oh, God, that was a great game. That was a how great, about this, Ojo? Yes, sir. The Chiefs were down ten in playoff games, down seven or more in the Patrick Mahomes era. The Chiefs are nine and two. The next quarterback win ratio in that scenario, dating back to 1950, is Tom Brady. He's ten and eleven. Yeah. Let, I, I, let me read. I want to read this again. Yeah, read again so people, is, got, people understand that. In playoff games, down seven or more in the Patrick Mahomes era, the Chiefs are 9-2 and two in mm -hmm. those games. The next best quarterback win ratio in that scenario, which means down at least seven points, mm -hmm. dating back to 1950. So we're going back almost 75 years. Right. Is Tom Brady. He's sub-500. He's 10 and 11. Patrick, do y'all understand how amazing that is? Like, I'm not a football player, football watcher, nothing, but that is amazing. Like, he he's that guy, bro. Appear obviously he's that guy. And if anybody could do it, you know what I'm saying? Pat Mahomes and the, and, the, and the Chiefs could do it, man. He's he's a great quarterback, apparently. Great Mahomes quarterback. Mahomes is nine and two nine in and two. games. The Ten next closest 
is Tom at 10 and 11. The next closest is 10 and 11. That's not even a good record. That's a terrible record. And, that, and that's the next closest. Like, this dude is unlike anybody we've ever seen. This dude, Patrick Mahomes, is unlike anybody we have ever seen. Ever. That is wild. That's crazy. <laughs> So let me ask you this: that we've been That's talking crazy. about this. There's been a, a lot of a lot of goat talk, mm -hmm. and I was on I was on somebody's uh, uh, show Wednesday when I was doing media day for Oikos, and I said, right now Tom has the big horns. Yeah, of course. He he used to go. He got the big of horns. Of course. Where are you gonna put my homeboy? He gets that three P, three P, four Super Bowl MVPs. Right. And he's not thirty. Where are you yeah. putting it? Damn. Do 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 you do you over? But he doesn't overlap, <laughs> overlap Tom because obviously people would bring up the fact that Tom has six, seven rings or what, whatever it may but be. But I thought, I thought, I, I thought the eye test because that's what they told me. Because see, I see it first now. Here's the thing: they say Jordan is the goat because he three peated. They right. say Kobe is next in line because he three peated. So right. I just need to know: okay, are we Kobe staying consistent with that? Yes listen, no. listen, now I'm, you have to talk to those who watch the game of basketball. I'm just gonna stick to football and what I actually know. But I, I think. You know, it comes down to numbers. It comes down to rings, and rings matter. Rings matter, especially when it comes to the quarterback position when we're talking about the GOAT. But until you unseat the individual who is in front with the most, then, I mean, can there be a GOAT junior? <laughs> oh, well, he is that right now. Right. Well, here's the thing. If rings are the, well, Bill Russell has 11. <laughs> oh. Nobody ever said he's the GOAT. You know, I like how you, I like how they you got seven. They, Robert Ory has seven rings. Right. Uh, uh, there are a lot of Celtics, Havlicek and Sam Jones and Casey Jones. <laughs> I just think it's, it's, I think it's going to be a very interesting conversation, right? Because no, because a lot of teams have tried to three peat, mm -hmm. and the thing is, I mean, that's a lot of extra games on your body because right. you're talking about going to four Super Bowls in a span of six. Hold on, that'll be four in six years, right? No, that'll be five. They're three and one. That'll be five in six years. Oh, that's crazy. Nobody's ever done that. That's crazy. Yes, this ain't this ain't a game of mad. This is real life. Real Man, life. It's real life. But I mean, I think now Ocho, nothing that he does surprises you. Yeah. Mm -mm. I mean, I just knew once they set up for the field goal. Hey, like John Witherspoon said in Friday, uh, next next Friday, yeah. that's your mm -hmm. ass. Oh, in Friday, that's your ass, Mr. Yeah. Postman. It was a wrap. It was a wrap. So. I mean, he's unbelievable. Man, I knew I knew Patrick Mahomes was going to win the Super Bowl, bro. And I don't you don't even have to be a be a real big football watcher to know he's going to win the Super Bowl, bro. Like I knew he was going to win. And he's going back next year. And he might win next year too. They just need to keep this team as as good as they can, keep the same team and make improvements where they need to, tweak a little bit, tweak tweak here and there. Man, they might as well just go down on purpose. <laughs> they might as well just go down on purpose, go down in points on purpose, and then just come back and be like, yeah, we, we got it. Because that's just crazy. But, hey, man, I got my money on Pat, man. I got my money on the Chiefs, man. Even though I, 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 I'm not a Chiefs fan or nothing like that. But, hey, man, look, hey, it's Chiefs Nation right now. Chiefs been one of the best teams for the past five years, based off of what he's saying. For the past five, six years, the Chiefs have been the one of the best. So, hey, man, keep it rocking, man. Look, what y'all think? Let me know. If y'all made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. I thank you very much. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.